All right, now let's take a look at some, some new parabolas that we generate via what are called vertical stretches. That's where we take the x squared and actually put a coefficient in front of it. So the first one I want us to take a look at is going to be the following function. g of x equals minus, or negative, negative 3x squared. Now, what happens here? Well, first of all, that negative sign tells me that actually I'm going to produce a sad face parabola. Because there's a negative in front of the x squared, that means this is going to sort of open downward. So it's going to be a sad face parabola. And the 3 represents the vertical stretch, which means that, in fact, these values where it used to be at a certain point are now going to be 3 times that point. What does that do in terms of the picture? What it does in terms of the picture is it tightens. It tightens the wings of the parabola. Think about it for a second. Whereas here, we see that this is a standard parabola now. At 1, we're at 1. Now we're going to see at 1, disregard the negative, the, um, negative sign for a second. At 1, we're now going to be at 1 times 3, way up here at 3. Do you see how when you multiply by 3, it, it tightens it. It brings it closer in. When you multiply by a big number, it sort of sharpens the thing. It makes it tighter. But the negative sign means that we're going to actually flip it. So first, we make it sharp. So I'm going to do a sharper thing. Here we go. I'm doing this live. So at 1, I'm at 3. You can plot the little points here if you want. And at negative 1, I'm at 3. So make it sharp. Hard to draw, by the way. I'm doing this live, by the way. You think this is planned. It's planned, but it's still live. And here's what I do. I just, you make it sort of fuzzy enough that no one realizes. But I'll put, I'll put whatever there. Look, look at this one. See, that's perfect. That's perfect. But it's hard to draw the perfect ones here. So there's, there it is. And you can, see it's t whoops. <laughs> you can see it's tighter. But we're not done yet because, remember, there's that negative sign in front. So what do you have to do? We have to now take this and just sort of flip it over the x-axis. We have to make it from a happy face parabola to a very sad face parabola. And there's the answer. That is the graph. That is the graph of that. Neat. Let's try another one together. How about this? g of x equals 1 third times x squared. Well, we see that the coefficient is positive, which means this will remain a happy face. But now I'm multiplying by a number that's actually less than 1. So what happens here? Well, before, when I was at 1 and plug in to a regular parabola, I get 1. Now when I plug in, I merely get a third. So what happens? Now my value is going to be way out here. So when you multiply by a positive number that's less than 1 in front of the x squared, it, it kind of takes the thing and, and widens it. It might seem a little counterintuitive, right? Gee, you multiply by a small number, it makes it wider. You multiply by a, by a big number, it makes it tighter. But actually, if you think about it, that's, that's the way it should go. Because if you multiply by a small number, that means you're not going to get as high. So in some sense, things are going to be less high. So don't think about it as spread out. Think about it as less high. So in this case, what we have is a picture that looks like this. At 1, we only make it to, to 1 third rather than 1. And at negative 1, the same thing. At 0, we're at 0. And so this parabola is going to be very genteel. See, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Actually, this one's not bad. I'm kind of proud of this one. Of course, you start playing with it, then you ruin it. Anyway, that's the idea. It's, it's, it's sort of spread out a little bit. And that's what happens when you do these kind of vertical stretches.